For being so admittedly shy it's amazing that Kate Mara has managed to become such a well-known actress. It could be that despite her shyness, she's still capable of getting up on stage and fully stepping into another role so that she doesn't have to live inside her own head. She wouldn't be the first person to do this after all, and it seems perfectly reasonable since it can allow a person to let go of who they are, including their anxieties and other character quirks that might keep them from really being as outgoing as they want. In any case Kate has starred in a good number of movies and TV shows throughout her career that have given her a great deal of exposure. It's just too bad that this list doesn't include TV shows as well, since her time on House of Cards was phenomenal, though her exit was rather abrupt. Here are her five best movies. Number 5. We Are Marshall. One thing I don't need is more time for myself. I just want things to get back to normal. A lot of times with stories like this one there are inaccuracies that need to be addressed since a lot of people tend to want to see some realism in their movies and aren't entirely satisfied with how things get switched around now and again. Thankfully one can at least sit back and admit that it's a movie, and as such there are bound to be a few decisions that might not fly with some folks but are still able to make the movie just a little bit better. The movie was one of the many testaments to the resilience of the human spirit and shows what it takes to get back up again when life reminds us that now and again things don't go to plan. Number 4. Transcendence. We know what you're building. You don't get it, do you? Transcendence is a movie that didn't really get a lot of positive reviews, but also wasn't given much of a chance to excel since it does deal with very important ethical and moral issues that come with technology and its many applications. While Will was trying to make the world a better place he was also actively enslaving those that he was trying to help, which brings up the big question of why this would be a good thing when in truth it becomes an attack upon the very freedom that we cling to so tightly. In the end however he helps those seeking to destroy him as he uploads a virus into his reconstructed self and does away with everything he accomplished, creating a technological blackout. Number 3. Megan Levy. Rex is not ready to be redeployed. It's not my call. The vet disagrees with you. Just like any true-to-life story there are inaccuracies that were made on purpose during this movie, but for the most part, a lot of Megan Levy's life was left alone, unless it needed to be changed for one reason or another for the movie. In a big way it was important to leave some of the biggest moments, since it would have been a huge disservice to her and the canine she fought so hard to keep in her life after their term of service was up. America is supposed to have a great track record of taking care of its veterans in every way possible, and there are a lot of success stories out there, but sometimes there are tales that seem to inspire a little more struggle than seems necessary. Number 2. The Martian. Hermes has four redundant flight computers each connected to three redundant comm systems. We can't shut down the comms because we'd lose telemetry and guidance. This movie comes up in a lot of these lists, since not only was it deemed to be one of the better movies of its year, but it's also one that touches a lot of people on a lot of different levels. There might be glaring plot holes and inaccuracies that some people who are in the know might like to point out, and that's okay. The whole idea of it is that people like the movie and are willing to admit that it was well done and well received. It boasted a cast that was second to none if we're all being honest, and while it might have had a few moments when it seemed a little less than kosher on the science, it still seems that it was very thought out and executed in a way that people can agree was impressive. Number 1. Shooter. The reason this makes the top of the list after all the others is that it's simple, it's action-packed, and it doesn't take itself so seriously that one would have to fact-check everything, even though people did, in order to enjoy it. As one of the top snipers in the world, Wahlberg's character has to go on the run after he's been framed for the assassination of an individual that was silenced to keep people from learning about the atrocities that had occurred in his country. Along the way he picks up the widow of his former spotter and enlists the aid of an FBI agent that helps him to clear his name.